हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर सर अरिंदम एंड वेलकम टू रिविशन लर्निंग वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न योर मैथमेटिक्स फ्रॉम सर और रोप हु विल एक्सप्लेन यू एवरी चैप्टर ऑफ योर क्लास फाइव मैथमेटिक्स सिलेबस फ्रॉम द एंजॉय एंड लर्न मैथमेटिक्स टर्म वन बुक and today he is going to teach you your chapter 1 so without wasting any time let's directly join sir arup and let's follow the class properly and before moving to the class make sure you subscribe to revision learning and press the bell icon so that you never miss any of our classes let's start Hello student I am your maths teacher Sir Arup I welcome you all one second today we will learn international place value system this table is known as international place value system in this table there is three period and nine place value now how to put a number in the international place value system table let us take a number say this number so how we will put this number in this table so while taking the digit from the number and putting it into the table in both the case we'll start from ones place that is we'll start from right side so we'll take two we'll put in ones pl uh, place we'll take one we we'll put in tens place we'll take take two we'll put in hundredth place there uh, like this we'll put one by one from right to left now comparison between indian and international place value system this is our indian and this is our international place value system table in indian place value system table there are four period and nine place value where once period has three place value and the remaining period has two two place value each whereas in international place value system there are three period and nine place value and each and every period has three three place value this thing i have written here you have to read this paragraph then you will understand everything okay now how to put comma in indian and international place value system this is our indian and this is our international place value system table now usually we put comma after every periods starting from right side that is from ones period so if we put comma by using indian place value system then we we will put our first comma after three place and the remaining comma we will put after two two place because you see our first period gets over after three place and the remaining period gets over after two two place that is why we will put after we will put first comma after three place 1 2 3 first comma will put after three place and the remaining comma will put after two two place 1 2 One two comma like this. Similarly, one two three. First comma will put after three period, and the remaining comma will put after two two period. Uh, 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 two two place. One two three. One two one two like this will put. Okay. Now exercise two. That is from page number sixty six. First question. Write each of the following numbers in words using Indian place value system. Means by using Indian place value system, we have to convert this number into words. So. How we'll do it? First, we'll draw the Indian place value system table, and then we'll put this number into this table, and then we'll get our required name. That is four lakhs for eighty-three thousand seven hundred and forty-five. Four lakh eighty-three thousand seven hundred and forty-five. Now, see question number three. Write the following in figure. One thing you see in this question, nothing is mentioned. Like by uh, using which table we have to. Uh, solve this question like this in this question uh, the indian place it is written using indian place value system but here it is not written by using which table we have to solve this questions so to figure out the table you can see the word million is present in this question and we know the million period is only present in international place value system see not in indian place value system that means we have to solve this question by using international place value system table then we'll draw this international place value system then we'll put the digit from the 
give a number name in their respective places like we'll put 2 in million in millions period then we'll put 743 in thousands period and then we'll put 149 in ones period then we'll get we'll get our required number that is 2 lakhs 2 million 740 3149 okay student understood now face value and place value first face value the face value of a digit in a number is the digit itself whatever place it occupies in the place value table or chart for example you see the face value of 7 in this number is 7 means the face value of 7 is 7 itself another another example you see the face value of 3 in this number is 3 so the face value of 3 is 3 itself understood so now we'll see what is place value now this thing the concept of place value I, I will explain with an example the place value of 2 in this number is what so first we'll write 2 because we are supposed to find out the place value of 2 and then we'll multiply this 2 with its with its place value the place value of 2 is 10,000 so we'll multiply this 2 with 10,000 we'll get our result or simply you can do like this first you'll write 2 and then after 2 we have 4 digit 1 2 3 4 we'll simply put 4 0 okay you see example 2 the place value of 3 in this number is what so first we'll write 3 because we are supposed to find out the place value of 3 and then we'll multiply this 3 with its place value so the place value of 3 is 10,000 so we'll multiply this 3 with 10,000 we'll get our result or simply you can do like this you will write 3 and then after 3 we have 4 digit 1 2 3 4 we'll simply put 4 0 okay now come to exercise 3 from page number 8 find the place value of 3 in in this number so how will do it the place value of 3 in this number is first we'll write 3 and then we'll multiply this 3 with its place value so the place value of 3 is 10,000 then we'll multiply with 10,000 then we'll get our result or simply we can write 3 and then after 3 we have 4 digit 1 2 3 4 we'll write 4 0 okay Question number 4. Find the difference in the place of the two 8s in the number this number. In this number we have two 8. Here one 8 and another 8 we have here. So first we will find the place below of this 8 and then in second case we will find the place below of this 8. And after finding the place below of both the 8 we will subtract the smaller value from the bigger value. Okay. Then after subtracting we will get our result. Okay. I hope you understood right expanded form so I will explain this concept with an example from exercise 3 page number 68 you see question number 5 write the expanded form of each of the following numbers so this is our number so we have to write the expanded form of this number so how we'll do it first we'll write the number and we'll put one equal sign and we'll start from the left side that is from last digit so we'll start from 7 we'll write 7 after 7 we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we uh, six uh, six digit so we'll put six zero plus after seven we have five we we'll write five after five we have one two three four five digit we'll put five zero Af plus after five we have again five we'll write five after five we have one two three four four digit four zero plus after five we have six and three digit we we'll write six three zero after six we have zero we'll simply write zero plus after zero we have six and one digit so six and one zero plus we have at last we have three so we'll simply write three similarly this one also you see first three and then six zero three six zero plus five five zero five five zero plus eight four zero eight four zero plus two three zero two three zero one two zero one two zero eight one zero eight one zero plus at last we write nine okay now short form so let us write the above expanded form once again we have written the above expanded form once again so this is called our expanded form okay this side is expanded form side and this side is our short form this side is called short form now we have learned how to uh, how to convert from short to expanded now we will learn how to convert expanded form to short form so this is very simple simply 
we will add all the numbers suppose this is our given expanded form expanded form so how will convert simply we add all this number this one this 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 all this number we will add like this we will add and and then the resultant number will be our short form number so the short form of the above expanded form is this okay you see one question from access 3 uh, question number 6 write the following number in short form so this is uh, so the question is given in expanded form we have to convert it into short form so simply what we will do we will add all this number we will get our exp uh, we will get our short form number so the short form of the expanded form is this now we will learn successor and predecessor of a number the successor of a given number is one more than the number it comes just after the given number successor is equal to given number plus one the predecessor of a given number is one less than the number it comes just before the given number predecessor is equal to given number minus one for example you say suppose this is our given number so the successor of this given number will be given number plus one that is eight and the predecessor of this given number will be seven minus that is given number minus one that is six similarly the uh, successor of, of the of 45 will be 46 and the predecessor of 45 will be 44 understood now this example also you can see right now we will solve one question from exercise 4 that is question number 1 write the predecessor and successor of the following number this is our number so we have to write the successor and predecessor of this number so how will do it we know that predecessor is equal to given number minus 1 so this is our given number this is our given number given number minus 1 so after subtracting we get our predecessor so the predecessor of this given number will be this one now similarly we know that we know that successor is equal to given number plus one so give this our given number plus one so after adding we will get our successor of the given number will be this one i have given also some homework that is from exercise 3 page number 68 question number 5 d e f and question number 6 c and d question number uh, exercise 4 page number 70 question number 1 d e f one note you see whatever i explain in this video you have to write and practice in your rough copy just once